As people of Iran and China, we are all together in different circumstances. And in this new current situation, we are united together and we will win together. Jungo Jayo, Ilan Jayo. Actually, Iran is one of the most uh, infected countries. And uh, what's your opinion for what's going to happen afterwards? It's going to get better sooner? Or because I knew that uh, in late March it's going to be Iranian uh, New Year, right? Yeah. So people probably is going to celebrate it. And I don't know how they're going to celebrate it as uh, Iranian traditional uh, rules. Yeah. From the, from the first instance, I believe that this uh, outbreak is a global challenge, not a challenge only for China, two months ago. Yeah. And now, now just it's proof that uh, it's really a global challenge, which is spreading all over the world, and Iran is also among the most infected countries. And maybe one reason why it has been spreading so fast in different countries is the fact that nobody took it very seriously. Because it was a new phenomenon, many people didn't know much about it, and they didn't take it so much serious. Iran also, we have one of the best healthcare systems of the Middle Eastern region. Very good doctors and medical workers and hospitals. But unfortunately, due to the you know the culture of the people. It was transmitted so fast in many, many cities. And uh, the experience of China, which was a very interesting one, the Chinese government adopted very responsible policy and adopted very strict measures to curb the spread of this virus here in China. It is proved to be successful, and I sincerely appreciate the Chinese people and Chinese government for this success could be a very good example for other countries as well, which is still is subject to be considered in different countries, including mine. So, yeah, in Iran, the situation is, it, Iran is among maybe four or five countries most infected. And uh, step by step, there are new measures to be taken. And uh, what is important is that Everybody, everybody must be vigilant in the private life and the social life. And the situation in Iran is, in the last two, three days, step by step, is improving. But people must to believe it is getting better. So I do believe that um, uh, we cannot fear about the virus, because uh, I believe the worst virus actually is fear, not the virus itself. So, what's your opinion for this? Yeah, this fear and overreaction is even more threatening than the virus itself. I believe from the first days that it was erupted. People are afraid and horrified by everything they don't know. It's just in the nature of every human being and it, it's understandable that, yeah, you will be concerned, you will be afraid of anything you don't know. No need to be horrified, no need for overreaction. For example, we see in many countries, we see that people just rush to the uh, you know, Supermarket, supermarkets yeah. <laughs> to buy whatever they don't need actually. Yeah. Which is overreaction, which is based on a horrified uh, emotion of the people. Yeah. No need for that. And it, it doesn't help be vigilant to observe some very, very simple precautions and instructions. And, and of course, the countries all over the world and nations to be united in this battle against the COVID-19. I'm confident that together and with uh, uh, unity and joint cooperation and consolidation of uh, the nations, we can win against this. Yeah, sure. From my opinion, it's actually isolation doesn't mean discrimination. 
because uh, uh, isolation, because it's due to the safety reason, and uh, but people should not take it as discrimination. So, sure. what's your opinion for this? In many cases, uh, the isolation or the quarantine measures is the best way to 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 curb the spread of the virus, especially in those areas which are mostly affected. What happened in Wuhan and Hubei province? It was difficult because because it, the Chinese government was aware of the fact that it will have negative impact on the economy, yeah. on the life of the people. But although it was very difficult to decide, but they decided for quarantine the whole province and the city of Wuhan, and it is to be and it is proved to be successful to to. Be, worked very well. Like efficient measure is taken by yeah, Chinese very government. efficient and yeah. If they didn't do that for a country like China with big, population yeah with this size of population it was a real catastrophe. Yeah. So no other option for those areas which are mostly affected and it is of course different it is quite different than discrimination about uh, it's certain nations or citizens. When this outbreak erupted here in China, many Iranian, many Iranians were concerned about their Chinese friends. Yeah. And they said, sent many sympathetic and kind messages to China, saying that uh, uh, China must be strong, Wuhan must be strong. Yeah. And also Iranian government, they sent some medical supplies, including masks. Yeah as a sign of friendship and sympathy towards the government and the people of China. And nowadays that uh, this outbreak in Iran is uh, spreading, we are receiving many kind messages, emotional messages, and donations from the government of China, from Chinese companies and Chinese citizens. Our missions in Beijing, in Shanghai, are here in Guangzhou, we are receiving many packages of donations, medical items like masks, face shields, uh, isolation clothes and many many other items that are donated by the Chinese companies, by Red Cross of China, by the Chinese people and citizens and many emotions with that. So we are really, uh, we really appreciate it and we are thankful for that. And this is a sign of uh, long-lasting friendship between Iran and China nations. Yeah, as the Chetino's traditional celebration for the upcoming uh, Iranian New Year, like what's going to be the traditional yes. celebration? In Iran, like China, we have a New Year which begins from uh, March 20th. Mm -hmm. And in our culture and our tradition, it is exactly the first day of the spring. And in Iran, we have the solar calendar, Iranian Persian solar calendar, which is rooted in very long history of Iran and Persia. And people celebrate, some of them, very similar to what you have here in China, in Nowruz, in Iranian New Year, beginning of spring in Iran, Many interesting costumes and traditions we have in different regions and areas in my country. This year's Iranian New Year uh, will be affected by this outbreak and maybe many celebrations or gatherings to be cancelled. To be cancelled. Mm -hmm. And the people know and understand that it's quite important. Let's have a better one in, in, in future and in next year. Yeah. As you had in China, in China the New Year and the Spring Festival was so much affected by this outbreak. And I'm confident, I'm sure that next year you will have you you will celebrations. Yeah, you will have many celebrations. I think after this coronavirus we should celebrate each day as the like a new year or the new day. I think that's sure. what people should do. Like uh, we must to celebrate the new coming day as it is. Yeah, interesting idea. <laughs> Very nice idea. As soon as we overcome this outbreak of virus and we win in this battle, will be the New Year celebrations and will be uh, the best days of all human beings.
And uh, another question is that uh, because uh, we watch news a lot about also like a situation, the current situation in Iran, and uh, there's one uh, scenario is mentioned a lot in the, the news, which is uh, about the religious. What do you think about this uh, like uh, behavior? You know, in many countries we have the same problem. Some people and believers uh, to some religious traditions, they are so much inclined to that. And it's very difficult for them to accept uh, that during this special circumstance they must, they must ignore some part of the religious traditions. We witnessed the same in, in South Korea, yeah. which the outbreak just erupted in a church. We, we have been uh, hearing about some European countries, the same problem. And Iran also we had the same problem. Most of the people understood uh, that it's important to be vigilant, to stay home, and to cooperate and to help to cut the transmission circle of this coronavirus. And that's the only way to do and to win against it. And the next question is going to be what about the economy and for example here uh, in Guangzhou like one month ago all the restaurants and bars they are shut down. So actually it's really a huge impact for those uh, individual owners. And um, so my question is that uh, is there any um, decision taken by the government that they are going to give some compensation to the individual owners or the retail shops? This atmosphere of outbreak of Global coronavirus, the global economy, the world economy is under the heaviest pressure. Big losses for different sectors, and in particular, uh, the tourism industry, the aviation industry, dining and restaurants, and many other sectors. In my country, it's also the same, it's not an exception. And the government and the central bank just adopted some special measures and policies, especially to postpone, uh, you know, uh, the payment of the loans taken by the people in different sectors, or to help uh, the poorest uh, part of the society to pay for compensation of their difficult situation not to be able to, to gain money these days. And also uh, some uh, tax cuts for different sectors. And some other measures, yeah, the government is considering the difficult situation of the different sectors of the economy, especially the private, the small, the small private businesses. Because I believe the economy is going to grow one day, get back yeah. to normal, yeah. but the community is the most important. Sure, it's, yeah, it's quite important. I need to also emphasize that in my country, due to, due to the very good healthcare system, uh, for those patients of uh, coronavirus, uh, the whole process to the uh, hospitals and to to get the, uh, the whole process of improving and drugs and, and uh, healthcare you know, services and everything and also the tests and every other you know, services uh, they get uh, would be for free for every patient. This is also important because many people, many, uh, the, the poor part of the society maybe they, they cannot afford it. Yeah, it's but, the same as in China. Yeah, yeah, the government would cover. And there's one uh, uh, like Persian point, I really like it, which is uh, the garden of the world has no limits, except in your mind. It's uh, done by Rumi. I think it really uh, can describe this current situation. Because actually we put, uh, like you mentioned before, like uh, we are afraid of uh, what's unknown. So actually we put all the unknown things into our mind to picture by ourselves? Sure, 
in that in, in one of his poems Rumi is describing uh, an elephant in a dark room and some people come to the dark room and to touch it and every person would touch a, split, a certain part of the elephant they would try to imagine the yes. shape of it and, and, they, the, and then they are asked what you have been seeing yeah. they are describing that part of the elephant that they have touched yeah. which is of course no one has the true imagination of what they have been seeing yeah. that's the case what is important is to be realistic is to find out that whatever it is there are there are some solutions for that we can simply adopt some new behaviors new measures that could help us to protect against this threat no need to be horrified no need to overreact no need to feel that everything is just ending the world is quite beautiful the life is quite beautiful maybe some part of our behavior and our life would be affected by this maybe temporarily we need to change some part of our you know daily life behavior yeah, true. why not let's experience this as well let's be cool let's accept it and let's uh, think that this is also part of the ups and downs of the whole life of a human being yeah. it will pass we will pass through this situation as well and we will find life even more beautiful and even in that situation in future we would know that we have many things that we don't know and we don't care about it when we are in a very safe situation, condition. And also, by the way, we have also another uh, Iranian poet and his poem uh, exactly regarding this idea. For example, when, when, when you are healthy, you don't know how important it is to be healthy. Yeah. A fish, and he's saying, a fish in the sea, she doesn't know how much it is important to be in the water and the oxygen there. But when he is out of the water, you start to realize, yeah. You start to realize what he has lost. This is the case also for us in this in, in this new situation. In future, we would know that how much it is important to be healthy, how much it was important to gather with friends and family and to discuss and to laugh and to eat. You know, this kind of very, very simple behaviors of the daily life. And the nature which of now is ignored and must be ignored. It's very important. And we must to appreciate what nature offers to us. And uh, sure. like the people say that uh, if there's no up and down in your life, that means you're dead because it's like a heartbeat. Exactly. So it's go up and down. Exactly. So if you are playing, that means you're dead. <laughs> exactly, that's the case. So I would like to close this interview uh, with one uh, like a quote. And uh, I would like to ask for your opinions. Uh, the single story creates um, stereotypes and the problem with the stereotypes is not, the, is not uh, what they are untrue but they are incomplete. They make only one story and it becomes the only story. I think it's now described the situation because it's like uh, we only saw what's on the news but actually we didn't know the current situation because we are not living in that specific country or yes. we are not living in the specific community exactly. so we cannot really understand what they feel we don't know all about the stories yes, the stereotypes and cliches are big problem and uh, many of us are ruled by the conception, by wrong conceptions about different phenomena, different things and different nations which is mostly, and our, you know, our conception is mostly built by the propaganda of some media, which is not true. Yeah. The picture we have and the image we have from different phenomena about other nations, other countries, behavior or beliefs of other nations, and you know, 
countries maybe is not true because we are affected by this uh, wrong image made by the media so we need to overcome these stereotypes we need to communicate yeah. and through this communication and knowing each other better we have one common nature yeah. which is the humanity and the sense of humanity we are the same human being while we have different cultures or mode of behaviors we need to finish and overcome these stereotypes to communicate to go and see different countries and nations and to be kind we will have a better world, peaceful world. In the end, it's like uh, what the meaning of uh, the Iranian track, like the white color, it sure. means uh, honesty and peace. Sure. So I really hope that in the end of this coronavirus outbreak, everybody can find peace in the country and also in the community sure. and between the humanity. Exactly. Right. That's the yeah, yeah. This current situation we are facing would help all human beings in future to feel the importance of being sympathetic toward each other, to be kind toward each other. Like love and compassion. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I, I I'm quite I'm quite optimistic that it will have some positive aspects as well, I guess. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.